What's up, Odooers, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to consume components with Odoo's barcode app. No, I'm not talking about eating food. I'm talking about manufacturing goods. We'll see how to consume both tracked and untracked components, how to consume multiple components at once, and how to add or scrap components. On a day's work, am I right? The barcode app helps expedite the manufacturing process by making it more hands-free. Imagine if you're assembling a product that had five or more parts, and each time you had to go register a component at a computer. Sounds like a lot of tedious work. Luckily, with Odoo, you can scan these components as you go without even having to leave the shop floor. So let's see how to do this in Odoo. Okay, first things first, we need to enable one setting for our barcode scanner. So let's click into the settings application, and we're just going to select the inventory app on the left side of our navigation bar. In this section, we just want to scroll down to our barcode scanner and make sure that that option is enabled. Looks good. Another important step is making sure that product barcodes are actually set up on each component that needs to be scanned. When I click on this configure barcodes button right here, I can see a list of all of our products with their respective barcodes as well as their IDs assigned. So these barcodes are found on product labels that can be printed or stuck onto products. So now we need to have a manufacturing order or an MO. We'll open that in the barcode app. Today, we're going to be making someone star pinata since they're having a fiesta tonight. So let's go back to the Odoo dashboard. And we're just going to click into the barcode app. And there are a few different ways we can open orders in the barcode app, which are covered in our tutorial on processing MOs. But for now, we're just going to use our barcode scanner right here and scan the printed MO slip that we have for our star pinata, which looks like this right here. Nice. So we can see all the MO details now on this star pinata. And here we see the components needed to build it, like cardboard, colored paper. And we even have some of the fillings that go within this pinata. So one thing to know, Odoo lets us record the consumption of all of these products in one swoop. All I have to do is use the barcode scanner to scan the finished product, which is our pinata. And now all the components are populated and we can just click produce all. And then we'll get a confirmation that this MO has been validated. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to consume components individually. So I'm just going to scan the MO for my rainbow pinata. And I'll see all the components needed to make it. Many of these components can be consumed without worrying about tracking. For example, we have our string right here. So it doesn't really matter which specific string is glued to hold the top of the pinata up, but there are three ways to record these untracked components as consumed in the barcode app. First, if I wanted to see the detailed line item of the string, I could click on this pencil icon right here. And here I can manually type in the product quantity. And this is especially useful when there are large quantities being consumed. Or another thing I can do is click any of these buttons right here to update the quantity accordingly. In many cases, though, that method may be overly meticulous. So let's head back to the MO. The second way to consume a component is by clicking this plus one button right here. And if there were, let's say, five strings needed to make this pinata, then this button would say plus five. And let me consume all five at once. The third way to consume an untracked component is, you guessed it, scanning the barcode's product. As we know, those barcodes are found on the product form. So all you have to do is simply scan the product barcode. And Odoo will register the component as consumed. It's extremely easy. Now, for components tracked by lot or serial numbers, I'll need to input it directly. Similar to untracked components, I can do this three different ways. So if we scroll up here to our gummy candy, I see that there's supposed to be 30 gummies in this pinata. You might also notice there's our barcode icon as well as a lot number. And this is the lot that is reserved for this component to be picked from. See our documentation on picking from reserved lots or serial numbers for more information. So one thing I could do is click this plus one or plus 30 button right there 
to consume all of it without checking a lot or serial number data. But I want to see more details, so instead I'm going to click this pencil icon right here. And here I can see that there are multiple lots of gummies in stock, all with varying quantities on hand in each one. In this serial number lot field, I can specify which lot I want to pick from. In this case, we're okay with taking these from the first available lot, so I'm just going to leave this as is and pick from gummy 003. Our pinata needs 30 gummies, so I'll type 30 into this field right here. And now I'll click confirm. And boom, we've officially consumed 30 gummies. I mean, I, mean, I haven't eaten 30 gummies, but they're for the pinata party, of course. Anyway, there's one more way we could track consumed components, and you guessed it, it's through the barcode scanner. I could scan the component's barcode, but it's recommended to scan the barcode of the lot instead, and that's so Odoo knows the specific lot I want to pull this component from. So let's scan our other tracked component, our chocolate gummies. And there we go, our chocolates have been consumed. Now, let's say we accidentally squished three chocolates while producing this order. Ugh, the agony. We could scrap this component two different ways. The first way is I could scan the scrap command barcode from Odoo. Or I can also click the gear icon up here and then choose scrap. In the product search, I'm just going to type in chocolate candies and select it. And we've lost three chocolates, so I'm going to change the quantity here to three. I can also choose which lot the candy came from, and I'm just going to choose the third one right there. And I'm ready to click scrap. Sometimes Odoo might ask you to confirm that you want to scrap the material, so just make sure to click confirm if that happens. Now, if I click into the pencil icon next to the chocolate candies, I can see that the on-hand quantity in lot 3 has depleted by 3 chocolates. It's a sad day. Now, what if I want to make this rainbow pinata extra special by adding components that maybe weren't originally part of the build materials? Like, for example, we have purple paper that I decided I wanted to add. So if we go back to the MO and click Add Component, all I have to do is scan the product barcode there. Or if I click back, I can just scan the purple barcode, which I will do right now. And when I do, it just adds it to the current MO. Great, so it looks like we have some components registered as consumed, but not all of them. Aside from scanning the finished product's barcode, another way to quickly consume all components at once is simply by clicking the plus one button right here for Rainbow Pinata. When we do, all components have been recorded as consumed, so I can just click Produce All. And from here, we have our consumption warning since we added some purple paper to this MO. So we'll just click confirm. And the manufacturing order has been manufactured. It's time to party. And today, we covered a lot about consuming components in Odoo's barcode app. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you in the next video.